Welcome everybody to the series Quick Math Stuff with the third episode about infinite product. To motivate this nice subject, let's start by evaluating the following product. It is 1 plus x, 1 plus x power 2, 1 plus x power 4, and so on. Say, in short, that is product 1 plus x power 2k, k to 0, yes, infinity. Now, recall first why this product will be convergent. Assume that x is absolute value less than 1. Suppose that. I remind you the Weierstrass inequality about infinite product. We have that product 1 plus a sub sub i e 1 to infinity is always greater than 1 plus the series and less than or equal 1 over 1 minus series and the, the hypothesis that the number a sub i is always positive and less than 1 so by this Weierstrass inequalities one can conclude that the convergence of the infinite product is realized if if the series is convergent so here the, this series the series will be x2 k is convergent then we deduce that the infinite product is convergent. Now, how do stuffs to, to find exactly the value of this infinite product? Okay, as you know, for evaluating the product 1 plus AE 1 to infinity, there is two steps. First step is taking the partial product, it's finite. And second step is letting n tend to infinity. So here, in our case, this infinite product will be 1 plus x2k k since 1 to n. Now, after some science uh, essay and errors we can calculate this product I find that this is 1 minus x 1 plus x okay and 1 plus x2 and so on 1 plus x2 and this will be 1 minus x squared times 1 plus x squared and so on to n. By induction, you will find that this is 2 power n plus 1. So, we, we will obtain that the finite product 2k 1 to n is equal to 1 x 2 n plus 1 over 1 minus x and now the result is clear by letting n to infinity and knowing that x is less than 1 we obtain the value of the infinite product will be will be equal to 1 over 1 minus x now this is the value of our infinite product. Okay. Now to evaluate our infinite product, we will 
follow the same reasoning as, as above. So, we will take the finite product, say here, product cos cosine x over 2k, 1, 2, n, and we will we observe that cos x over 2k, here it's equals by the trigonometrical formula, this is equals to sine x over 2 chi minus 1 over 2 sine x over 2k. Okay? Now, if we don't, if we denote this by sk to simplify, we will have sk minus 1 over 2sk with sk is equals sine x over 2k now please take one minute two minutes to evaluate this finite product and we will return back now by the above observation we obtain product s k minus 1 sub k minus 1 s sub k 2 2 n this is equals s 0 2 s 1 and here s 1 2 s 2 and so on s n minus 1 over 2 s n now considering here a kind of Telescoping reasoning will time S0 over 2 power n and here Sn say that is sine x uh, yes sine x over 2 power 0 is x over 2n sine x 2n n is distilled to 10 to infinity so now this will tend to x when n tend to infinity it's a usual limit so so product to infinity here the, cosine x over 2k will be equal simply sine x over x. This result is due to our. Thank you for watching and see you to the next video.